G'day, welcome back to another video. In this video, got some uh, some more stuff that just arrived. Uh, anyway, we'll just get straight into it. So from RC Mart, I got the uh, the brushless system from uh, Hobby Wing, the Quick Run 3650 censored brush motor. Yep, not senseless, just checking. <laughs> and the uh, 10BL 120 speed controller to go with that. There you see, uh, not really sure what they're going to go in, but I'll work something out. <laughs> anyway, so we've got them, and a couple of receivers I've been waiting on. A couple of uh, Futaba R203GF receivers, just very basic ones. Uh, one of those is going to go in the Avanti, so that's what I was waiting on for that, so I can, I can get out part two within the next couple of days, get it all painted and running and stuff. Anyway, uh, this one here will go in my girlfriend's Volkswagen Carmen gear. So we got those ready, ready to go. And we've got a couple of Gen's Ace LiPo batteries. Uh, so they're a 400 milliamp 45C 7.4 volt or 2S. Uh, now the reason I bought these is because of the shape. As you can see there, they're very much like a, um, a nickel metal hydrite 7.2 shape. So cars like the Manta Ray, uh, Top Force is okay, but Manta Ray, Mad Bull, um, things like that where the square type batteries don't really fit very well. So, so like the Dirt Thrasher was one of them uh, where I had to change the chassis to a Top Force chassis so I could run squarer shaped LiPos. Um, had I have had these in the beginning, I wouldn't have bothered. Anyway, so got a couple of them. Now, next up, we've got the, it's a bit of an oldie now, the Rising Fighter. So this is another hopper style chassis, uh, one of the last, if not the last. Um, so that'll go with me Grasshopper 2, Grasshoppers, Hornet, all of that sort of stuff. Um, I really wasn't going to get one of these, but I found it at a good price, so why not? <laughs> so that'll get its own unboxing video and build video and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so I'll get to that at you know another point. Probably not far away. And this one here, the girlfriend's going to build this one. I might end up getting one for myself, I think. They look pretty cool. Anyway, the, uh, the Volkswagen Carmen Gear. It's a pretty recent release. Um, so, yeah. She's going to build that, so she's going to build it off camera. But I will do a video of it as a as it's progressing through the steps, um, and I'm going to paint it for her. So I'll probably get a video of that at least. Um, yeah, so and then we'll get a run video at some stage and see how she goes. Might even be in the same video. But yeah, they look pretty cool. So I think I'll get one of those for myself. Maybe I won't paint it blue. Might paint it in. I don't know, something different. <laughs> Couple more things to go. I've got some decals from uh, MCI Racing. There's a top force, a colourful top force one. That could be for a future project. I think that was just a freebie. Thanks, Nathaniel. Awesome work. Anyway, uh, Oh, there's a couple of different ones. King cabs and golf and so on. <laughs> yeah. Good on you, Nathaniel. Thanks for that. Alrighty, now we get to the good, the good stuff. We got the... Uh, I've got a couple of sets of them. Uh, Herobo Rock and Vega. So there's some stickers for that one. Again, I, if you saw my last video or one of the recent ones, uh, I don't actually have one of them. I do have the Rock and City somewhere up there. You probably can't see it. Um, always wanted the Rock and Vega, uh, so 
my plan is I do have a body for it so I'll paint the body put the stickers on and eventually I might get a car <laughs> uh, this one here we've got some Optima stickers Kyosho Optima and there's a reason why I've got two coming up to that and something very special there's some uh, there's some window masks for the Rock and Vega I think and and for this one the Cox Sidewinder or Kyosho I'm not really sure if Kyosho actually released it but basically it was made by Kyosho and sold by Cox kind of thing um, anyway uh, so I've got a body for that and I'll get to that now so that'll be an upcoming uh, project it'll basically be uh, I don't have one so what I'll do is I'm going to use a beetle chassis and change the wheels and I'm going to have to make a bar the bar that goes up the back inside you can't see it but there's a bar up there I'm going to have to make a lot longer one um, so I'll make a bar that goes like over the back I'll show you in a minute get that out of the way alrighty so that's a nice box from TBG thanks guys Team Blue Groove make uh, nice repro bodies if you're looking for one anyway there's our uh, sidewinder so what it has there's a cutout at the back there maybe you can see it I've got to cut that out that's where the bar comes out the top it's got your body mounts on it as well basically they're just the hole drilled in the bar and you put your pin through it um, yeah anyway so that we'll go with those stickers or those decals whatever you like actually I'll put that back in the bag no I won't too much rustling <laughs> anyway here's our rock and vega body very nice now if I only had the car to go with it <laughs> and in here it's a uh, Kyosho Sandmaster body I've got a, uh, a Sandmaster down there in a drawer somewhere it's basically in pieces but uh, needs a new body so or the paint I really should do but I've got a new body anyway so there's a new one ready to go and here we've got uh, whoops that's how uh, I'll get it open it's the wing for the rock and vega so that'll go up there somewhere like that maybe the other way it's a bit hard to see <laughs> anyway I've got two of those just you know you know how wings are <laughs> they split easy and so on so I figure I'd just get two and a couple of Kyosho Ultima, uh, Optima bodies sorry there we go so a couple of them basically you know I've, I've got an Optima no it's over there now um, you know the paint jobs are really tricky so I figure I'd just practice on a couple so <laughs> uh, I'll probably give one to a mate because he's been after one for a while and uh, wanting me to paint it so uh, maybe I'll give it to him maybe I'll sell it to him and I'll get a very high price <laughs> anyway so I got one of them to go two of those to get to go and I've got three wings for the uh, Sandmaster reason being the same wing on the uh, Sandmaster, Sandmaster Mark II and Outrage so I figured I'd just get three and if I can get them apart there we go then we got a, a wing for the Sandmaster and Outrage and whatever else whatever they fit so I think that's about it for this video plenty to keep me going uh, keep an eye out in the next couple of days the Avanti video will be out and also I've got an unboxing of two Kyosho vintage Kyosho cars coming both brand new built 
uh, need painting, but yeah, I won't tell you what it is right now, you have to wait. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, if you're new here, subscribe, that'd be awesome, and you know, thumbs up if you like the video, and catch you on the next one.